What's going on guys and welcome to the video. Today I want to show you how to use the AI voice converter function within DaVinci Resolve. I'm going to show you how to set up your own voice, how to then use the voice converter function so you can change the audio from one voice to another and also how to do this with a preset AI voice if you don't want to use your own voice. So first let's start by converting your audio clip from one voice to a preset AI voice. So what you want to do once you've got your audio on your timeline is right click it and then go to voice convert and then you should have this box pop up now in the first box you can decide where you want the clip to render to so you can either render it in place this will get rid of your original recording and replace it with the converted voice or you can select new track and this will create a new clip on a new track with the converted voice now i prefer to do this because it means that i've got the original audio clip still there on the timeline if for some reason i do need to go back to it but obviously the choice is yours now there's also the file name here so you can call it what you want or just leave this as it is that's what i usually do and then you've got your voice model now there are a few voices that you can choose from male and female so pick the one that you want and once you've done that you can press render now just let davinci resolve do its thing while it analyzes the clip and converts the audio this can take some time depending on the speed of your computer and the length of your audio but once it's done you can now see that it's created a new audio clip on a new track and I've still got the original audio here in case I need it. Okay, so that's how you convert to one of the preset AI voices. But let's say you've got some audio and it doesn't quite sound as good as you want it to. Maybe there's some background noise in there that you don't like. So you wanna replace it with your own voice, but just so that it sounds a lot better. So in order to set up your own voice, you first need a clip around 10 minutes long of good clean audio of your own voice. DaVinci Resolve can then use this to build the AI model. So once you've found your clip, you need to put this into your media pool. And then once you've done that, you can right click on it and then go to AI tools and then DaVinci AI voice training. Now this is just a little warning message. Basically it says you must have the permission of the person's voice that you're about to set up. And of course, if you're doing your own voice, then you have permission. So just click accept and then you should get this box pop up. So the first thing you wanna do is name the new voice. So I'll just call this Will2. And then you need to choose the accuracy. Now it can take some time for DaVinci Resolve to process these new AI voice models. So it's up to you if you want to choose better or faster. I do think if you choose better, it's gonna take quite a long time, but it's probably worth doing if you're gonna be using this a lot. It's best to get it right the first time. Now, once you've chosen that, you'll then see below here the file name that it's going to use to build the AI voice off of. And then once you've done that, you just need to click render and DaVinci Resolve will start to process and build the new AI voice based off your file. You should see a little icon down here in the bottom right hand corner which tells you that DaVinci Resolve is processing the voice and then once DaVinci Resolve is finished it will then tell you that it's done. Now I've already set up my own voice on DaVinci Resolve so I can go ahead and show you the next step but it's basically the same as the first step except instead of picking a preset voice we're just going to choose the new voice model that you've just told DaVinci Resolve to build. So again with the clip on the timeline I'm going to right click and then click on voice convert and then from voice models you want to choose the one that you've just made and then click render. And again, just let DaVinci Resolve analyze it and it should replace the audio with your voice. And that's pretty much how it's done. If you've got any questions on this, please do let me know down in the comments. Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one.